Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's, uh, we every time there's a delay, we just act like it never happened. Our, our team, we stayed loose and tried to act like it was just a normal race, normal start. You guys playing so, play any games or do anything to keep yourselves loose? No. <laughs> we actually started singing uh, Bob Marley, Don't Worry About It. Thing. <laughs> we stayed loose and uh, it's just fun. We knew this was a great opportunity for our team, so awesome. we wanted to ex execute. So what did it take to come back on uh, Cole Johnson there at the end? Uh, definitely a lot of experience from last year. I realized how hard it was coming on the end, and I saw he was fading, so I tried to catch him. And there's also some right behind me, so I just gave it everything at the end just to see what happened. At what point to the finish line did you put it into high gear and go for it? Uh, it's about 200, about the three mile mark is when I started going as hard as I could. And that's normal if you have to kick someone down? Yeah. Okay. Normal, yeah. Basically, that's usually what happens, but Cole is such a, such a good runner. I didn't really think it was possible, but... You know, a lot of people have said, yeah. even in the earlier races when it wasn't so bad, it's really hard to do get a kick on the surface and oh, it's yeah. soft. <laughs> There was a mud patch out there, I almost slipped down, I think 100 to go, but yeah, it's just a great race, everybody ran well today, so. When did, when awesome. did you know you had him here? I never, I, really <laughs> I didn't. I, I realized he was fading, I realized I had a chance, about 200 meters to go, but hi, you never know, he's he's the best the best uh, track runner in the state, so. The numbers might not be official yet, but it was really neck and neck if you guys won this yeah, I'm, state I'm team title. Right where does that, I mean, what is that now where your focus shifts? Yeah, that's that's more important than to me than winning uh, individually. I just know if I get first, that's the best I can do for the team. And we have such a strong team this season with a lot of seniors, so I just wanted to do it for them. Though. And what about this being Don Sleeman's 50th uh, year? Yeah. I mean, did you guys talk about that? Yeah, we said we'll just do it for him, and he said, no, don't do it for me, do it for each other. So. We love him, he's a great coach, and we wanted to make him happy. In round so, numbers, it was about an hour after the scheduled start time, so it. what's going through your minds when you have all these weather delays? Yeah, it was, some people kind of started doubting it a little bit, people were making comments like, that weren't racing, they're like, oh, might get delayed till tomorrow, and us varsity guys just came together, like, don't worry about it, it's just like a normal start of a race. We'll just and so we did our normal routine, our normal cheer over again, just to mentally like feel like it was the same thing. What is that normal cheer? Uh, we say pioneer ten times, starting slow, or quiet and getting louder, and then we jump up and down and okay. yell. So, but I guess it all comes down to yeah, it. It's uh, the the same time you would run a midday race, or I mean a midweek race. Yeah. <laughs> so. Except we woke up early this morning. Yes, hey, no, and you probably know when to eat or when no. to start the warm up or. No. All right. Okay. I'll crash. Congratulations.